a lot of us work from home these days, right? You know, and it's like, we're not going into the office. Like, should every guy have a black, blue, gray suit? Um, you know, what are, you, what are your thoughts around suits? Suits are a 20th century symbol of status and power. And we are not in the 20th century anymore. And so I would say it's probably worth it to have one for things like funerals and jury duty and stuff like that, because we're not entirely out of the 20th century. You still want to wear it to a wedding. You still want to wear it to stuff like that. And if you do get a good Navy one or a mid gray, black's usually too formal, but in most businesses, guys aren't wearing suits anymore. And if you're in an industry where you're still wearing suits, you know that. And, but for the rest of us, like if there's any question about it, you probably don't need it and you don't need to do it. That's the mistake. A lot of guys still make is you go back into the 20th century and it was always, if you wanted to dress better, you would up your formality. If everybody's in jeans and a t-shirt, you do a polo and slacks. Or if everybody's in a polo and slacks, you do a button-up shirt and, and some trousers, or then you go a full suit. But again, we're not in the 20th century anymore. The, our elites, like our highest status guys, like Zuckerberg and Jobs and Bezos, these guys aren't wearing suits. They completely are. In fact, for most guys who are at like kind of like the top of the financial echelon, it is a flex that they can wear whatever the crap they want. And it's the guys who work for them that are the ones that are wearing the suits. And so that was already starting to die. I would say COVID kind of put the nail in the coffin of that where you get lockdowns and work from home and all of that. And so a suit is not something that I would say needs to be top of mind. At some point, you'll probably need one and it will need to count. And so still do it right, but put your energy elsewhere because there's a, you're going to get a lot more bang for your buck by focusing on other things first. Okay. So what are some of the, the non-negotiables that every guy needs to have in his, in his closet? We don't have those anymore because we're not a homogenous culture anymore. You know, it used to be that you go back 50 years and everybody's watching the same TV shows because that was all that all there was. You turn to channel three and it was on at the same time. Like we were a homogenous culture, but now because of the internet, we're different balkanized cultures, different industries have different dress standards, different cultures, different music scenes, different political ideas and philosophies and philosophies do. And so the thing that I would say is the, probably the most tactical advice that I can give you is pay attention to the way that you're already dressing and the way that everybody else around you dresses, whether that's at work or at the gym or at church or on dates or wherever else it is that you are and then do it better. And by better, I don't mean more formal. I mean, make it fit better, choose higher quality materials, and then focus on colors that work well for you and make it so people pay attention to you instead of getting distracted by your clothing. So if everybody else is in jeans and t-shirts and sneakers, but they're in like crappy, you know, sketchers and jeans that are three sizes too big and eight inches too long, and it's a graphic t-shirt that basically is saying, my identity is rooted in the fact that I like this craft beer, or my company hosted this 5K 10 years ago and I can't be bothered to find a better t-shirt, do a plain t-shirt and a pair of jeans that fit and a, a nicer pair of sneakers. And so just do it better than what you're currently doing as opposed to having to totally change your wardrobe. How about accessories? How can a guy get the most out of, you know, watches, jewelry, uh, are, and are there other accessories that, I mean, I think women have a lot of them. Uh, like what other accessories outside of, you know, maybe a necklace, some, some bracelets, earrings, and a watch for a guy? The best way for guys to think about accessories is to treat it kind of like tattoos, where if you're going to do it, it has to have some meaning to it or some sort of symbolism. And so get it as, you know, it's awesome if it's like a wedding gift or it's a family heirloom that your dad owned or that your grandpa owned, or if it's not something like that, buy something when you're traveling that can remind you of that great trip or you hit five years of being self-employed or you finally get that hundred K in the bank or whatever else it may be, buy yourself something that you can inject some meaning and some symbolism to it. And then wear that as a reminder of look at this accomplishment or look at this trip or this is the heritage that I come from or anything like that. But if you're going to do accessories, have some some meaning and some symbolism to it.